I just suffered through one of the biggest betrayals of my life. It turns out my no for good, nothing, rotten, dirty, manipulative, cheating husband is doing something behind my back. And guess who it's with? Not the neighbor, not his long lost love from high school. Oh no, not Becky. It is from our son's teacher. And this teacher, who by the way is fresh out of college, has the nerve to say this. Throwaway account for obvious reasons. I'm a 36 year old woman, a mother, and up until recently I thought I was a happily married woman too. But the past few months have been increasingly difficult. My husband, let's call him M, and I have been growing distant. Our once frequent dates have dwindled down to nothing and his affection towards me has noticeably cooled off. But like most couples do, I just brushed it off as a rough patch, something we could work through. Then one day, while M was in the shower, his phone started buzzing. He's not usually secretive about his phone, and I've never had any reason to snoop, but something in me just snapped. I picked it up and saw a text from a number not saved in his contact list, and the message was from our son's teacher, T. The text was vague, but it had an uncomfortable intimacy about it. It went ahead to mention a, quote, last time, and a, quote, can't wait to see you again. This set alarm bells off in my head, and they started to ring. Overwhelmed by a flood of emotions, betrayal, hurt, anger, you name it, I felt sick to my stomach. But I knew I needed more evidence, and the next day, when M was at work, I got on his laptop. The first thing I did was check his email. I found an email thread between him and T with a number of attached images and see, images that left no room for doubt about the nature of their relationship. I found very, very intimate pictures of T and she sent them right to my husband. I felt a hot rush of rage and disgust wash over me. In that moment, all I could do was think about revenge. I know it sounds dumb, awful, whatever, but the death of betrayal was just too deep. It was not just his wife, but also the mother of their child whose teacher was involved in this sordid affair, and it felt like I was backed into a corner. I've not confronted him yet, as I'm unsure as the best course of action, and the rational part of me knows I should be talking to a lawyer and ensuring my son and I are secure. But the scorned woman in me wants him to just hurt as much as he hurts me. I'm stuck between doing what's right and satisfying the bitter desire for revenge. So guys, am I the a-hole for considering revenge on my husband and his mistress? I'll post an update soon when I figured things out more clearly. What's up everybody, Mr. Reddito here. Today's story is that of revenge. And why do I say that? Because I have three action-packed updates about how OP handles this situation when she finds out that her husband's cheating with none other than their son's teacher. And guys, you might want to grab your favorite beverage for this one because it's juicy. I got update number one coming at you, but first hit that subscribe button for daily videos here on Mr. Redito's Revenge. And let's jump into update number one. Hello. It's been a month since my last post. I'm sorry. So much has happened and I'm still trying to process it all. I went to a parent-teacher conference at my son's school. And as soon as I saw her, the young barely out of college teacher who had been sending intimate pictures to my husband. I could not control my emotions. Disgust, betrayal, and hurt surged through me like lightning. I snapped. I started screaming, accusing her in front of the school staff, revealing every sordid detail of the affair and the principal. Hearing the commotion rushed over from a few rooms away, and I did not spare him either. I berated him for hiring such a morally loose woman. After that, I did what I had to do for my son's well-being and I pulled him out of the school. Upon returning home, I broke the news to my husband right then and there. I told him I knew about the affair and that I wanted a divorce. Well, M, aka my husband, was shell-shocked. 
he had not seen it coming. But instead of taking responsibility, he did the unthinkable. He blamed me! He said our relationship had lost its, quote, spark, that I never gave him time or romance anymore, and in his warped perspective, this, quote, forced him to cheat. It was another painful blow. In the aftermath of my outburst, he lost her job. She turned to alcohol to cope, spiraling into a self-destructive hole, and what does my soon-to-be ex-husband do? <laughs> Guys, he sells our family home before the divorce can be finalized and packs up to move across the country with T, completely abandoning our son. As I write this, our home is in the process of being sold. M is preparing to move away with T, and I'm trying to hold everything together for our son. I can't help but feel a bitter satisfaction knowing T's life is unraveling, but my heart aches for my son who's been thrust into this adult drama for far too long and too early. But I've learned anything in the past few months, it's this. It's that I'm stronger than ever thought I was. So I will get through this. I'll make it. Sure of it. I'll post you guys another update when I figure out the next step. Thank you for your support. What's up again, Mr. Redito here. So update number two came out, and it came out six months since the last post, and OP has yet another shell-shocking update. Guys, here it is, update number two, six months later. Hey guys, it's been another six months since my last post, and I have yet another update for you. As it turns out, the betrayal goes deeper than I had initially thought. M had been seeing T for over a year before I found out, and he met her at a school function, and over the course of the year, he had been dipping into our joint savings to fund their illicit rendezvous. I'm talking luxury dates, expensive handbags, lavish holidays, literally, you name it. I was livid when I found out. My attorney and I filed a lawsuit against M for child support and to recoup the money that he had frivolously spent. But as they say, what goes around comes around. Karma had their own game plan. M and T's seemingly perfect love nest was anything but. T was caught red-handed with a young bartender. She had drained M dry, and with nothing left to offer, she decided she's time to move on. M, now broke and abandoned, resorted to alcohol to cope. Unfortunately, due to his financial situation, there was no money to be obtained from the lawsuit, and his inability to pay child support landed him in jail. In the midst of this adult chaos, the one who suffered the most was our son. He constantly was asking about his daddy, and it breaks my heart each time I heard his words. I'm trying to explain things to him as gently as I can, but hey, it's hard. There's a small glimmer of hope, though. A couple weeks ago, I met a man at the grocery shop. We got to talking, and he asked me out on a date. I've agreed, so we'll see where that leads. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, guys, but hey, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that life goes on. No matter how hard it gets, we have to keep moving forward. I'll post another update. Wish me luck. It'll probably be my final one. Update number three, titled, Hello, it's time for the final update. M, my ex-husband, is finally out of jail. He was able to secure a job through a longtime friend, and to be honest with you guys, he started paying child support. I've held off on letting him have unsupervised visits with our son until I can confirm he's actually sober, but I've agreed to supervised visits. Our son is overjoyed at the prospect of seeing his dad. In terms of personal news, the man I met at the grocery store, let's just call him Jay for the sake of this update. Well, we're still dating. I mean, we've actually fallen deeply in love. And I'm happy to announce that I'm pregnant. Jay is thrilled at the prospect of becoming a father, and has been incredibly supportive, not just for me, but for my son as well. It feels like a fresh start, a chance for a happier chapter in my life. 
In terms of, well, T, since you guys are probably wondering whatever happened to her, the teacher my ex-husband had an affair with, her life has taken a downward turn. She can't get hired anywhere, and the last I heard, she was spotted homeless on the street. Yeah, it is a sad state of affair, but hey, a part of me feels that's some sort of karma for the pain that she helped cause. If there's one thing I've learned from all this, it's that you should never settle for mediocre love. There's always someone out there who will value you, respect you, and love you without betraying your trust. Don't ever let anyone make you feel less than you are. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to this community for the advice, support, and kind words over the past year. Your messages have brought me strength and comfort during some of the toughest moments of my life. I'm excited for the future, and I'm excited for a life of love, respect, and trust. Signing off for the last time, OP. Guys, Mr. Redito here. So, I do want to hop into some comments because I'll be honest with you, these comments were just blowing my mind. I mean, I have a lot of different perspectives with comment number one saying not the a-hole, which is probably the most normal comment out of all of them. But hey, I got four comments for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into that before we check out Mr. Redito's opinion. Comment number one by Stargazer101. Not the a-hole. You've actually shown incredible strength, OP. It's heartbreaking that you have to go through this, but I'm so glad you stood up for yourself, and as for your ex, well, karma sure does come full circle, doesn't it? Here's to new beginnings and never settling for less than you deserve. And now for comment number two, guys, and just so you know, I told you the first comment is the most normal one, and there are some comments that a lot of people will not agree with, but here's comment number two by Real Talk 88 Everyone sucks here. Hear me out. What your husband did was obviously wrong. No question about it, but I think outing the affair publicly at the school might have been a bit too far. It's not just your ex-husband and his mistress who got affected, but also your son who had to switch schools in the middle of the school year. Comment number three by Justice for All 12. Honestly, OP, you are the a-hole. You're the a-hole for keeping your son away from his father. I mean, regardless of his mistakes, that's between y'all. He's still the father. You say he's sober now, he has a job, and he pays child support, but you're still denying your son a relationship with him based on your own judgments? Kids need their dads too, you know. And the final comment by Hindsight2023 states, Not the a-hole. But also, to be honest, this situation feels a lot like everyone sucks here. Your husband for obvious reasons and the teacher for her actions, but I also think you might have acted too rashly at times. That being said, I hope your new relationship brings you the happiness that you deserve, and I'm glad your son will get a chance to see his father again. Guys, that is all the comments. Let me know which one you agree with the most. And now it's time for Mr. Redito's opinion of the day, so let's jump into it. Okay, guys, well, I do want to hear your thoughts about those comments that we just read. Let me know whose side you're on. Is it OP not the a-hole? Does everyone suck in this story? Or is OP the a-hole? Drop your thoughts down below in the comment section. In my opinion, I don't see how OP could possibly be the a-hole. I mean, yeah, if you're looking at the perspective that she's keeping the father away from their kid, yes, you could probably say everyone sucks here for that situation. But realistically, the story the story is about the affair and the revenge that OP goes and gets on both of these people. So let me know, though, in your personal opinions, do you think that OP went drastically too far? Do you think that OP should not have gone after the teacher by blowing up in the classroom and getting everyone involved, all the faculty, staff, principal, you name it, then pulled her kid directly out of classes and started homeschooling? Do you think that OP went too far by cutting off communications with the father, even though she knew he was out of jail, paying the child support, had a stable job? I want to hear from you guys. 
Drop your comments down below. My name's Mr. Redito. Welcome to Mr. Redito's Revenge, a channel that's based on revenge stories. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button. And remember, it's cool to be kind. See ya.